Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the flapper door with a mullion heater in a Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new flapper door with a mullion heater. The flapper door is mounted on the left side French door. It latches the door into the door holder, keeping it closed. It has a built-in mullion heater and three hinges that allow the flapper door to turn 90 degrees when it gets in and out of the door holder. The main reason for the flapper door to be replaced is if the hinges break causing the French door not to close properly, or the heater burns out, causing condensation to build up on the flapper door. To get to the part, we need to open the left side French door. Next, I'm going to open the flapper door, and I'm going to expose these uh, two Phillips screws. I'm going to use this Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to take out these uh, screws, and uh, press the whole thing up. Don't get too excited. I'm going to pull out the harness and uh, need to disconnect this plug. I'm going to press down here on the tab and uh, pull the plug apart. This is the old flapper door with the mullion heater next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Let's install the uh, new flapper door onto the uh, door. All right, now I'm going to plug this uh, plug. Make sure it locks. I'm going to slide this up and bring this assembly to the door. We're going to turn the hinge this position. All right, so we're going to bring it in and uh, make sure that uh, all the hinges are directed the same direction toward the door. Now the bottom one has a spring. They're going to click and I'm going to place them on and slide the hinges, all three of them at the same time. All three of them in place. I'm going to bring this one in and using a Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to place these two screws in. And I'm going to peel off this tape here. Then I'm going to close this and peel this protective film. And now we can close the door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, Please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.